The hopes for an early coronavirus vaccine went up this week with Oxford researchers announcing that they have begun human safety trials of a new vaccine candidate. Now this new vaccine is going to be tested on healthy humans between the ages of 18 and 55 years who do not have coronavirus disease and the purpose of these safety trials is to, as the name suggests, is to see whether the vaccine is safe and whether it can generate a strong immune response against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease, and, uh, and in doing so can protect people from infection. Now, the Pune-based Serum Institute of India already has plans to begin manufacturing uh, this new vaccine candidate. They have a tie-up with Oxford University. And uh, with the trial results uh, out by September or October, uh, we, uh, Serum Institute plans to have at least around 1 million doses ready, which can then hit the market once the regulatory approval is given for this vaccine. So now this is the sixth coronavirus vaccine that's being tested across the world. And with so many uh, vaccines already in human safety trial stages, uh, the WHO uh, is hoping that we should have a vaccine ready for use early next year. So how does the Oxford vaccine work? Well, this vaccine uses recombinant technology where you take uh, genetic material from the virus causing infection, which in this case is SARS-CoV-2, and you insert it into a weakened virus that does not cause human infection. So in this case, they've taken a weakened version of a common cold virus from chimps called adenovirus, and they've modified it so that it does not cause uh, infection in humans. And the genetic material they've taken is from the spike protein of, of the coronavirus, which is what it uses to bind to the human cells and to enter human cells to cause infection. So the expectation from this new vaccine is that once a person is vaccinated, the weakened adenovirus with the SARS-CoV surf surface protein will, uh, will generate an antibody response in humans and that will protect them against coronavirus infection. Now this vaccine so far, Oxford researchers have found is safe. The only thing is there are mild side effects like soreness at the site of the infection, it's a bit of headache, uh, maybe fever, but these are mild and usually uh, also temporary and go away in a couple of days. So as we can see, vaccine development is happening at a pace and a scale that is unprecedented. It's never happened before because on average, one vaccine takes about at least 10 years to develop. And right now, uh, we have 78 projects that are already in various phases of clinical trials. Most of them are still in the preclinical trial stage and about uh, six are uh, right now in have already entered human trials. So uh, according to the WHO, we should have a vaccine ready in a year. But if progress continues the way it's going, we should hopefully have a vaccine ready to hit the market to, uh, to protect people against coronavirus disease by the end of this year.